today. Another kind of crappy fit floor pan. Um, these are, first I thought, so all right, what I did was I put this thing in here when it, had, when it was fully, when it had all the material around it and drew some lines on the back where I thought, you see the solid line is where I thought I was going to end up and then I drew the dotted line. That's where I wanted to cut it to have plenty of margin to then go ahead and fit it in there uh, and then trim it back to, to, to eventually getting close to the solid line so I didn't have huge gaps um, and I can weld easier. Um, so I did that and then got in here to fit it and if you look this thing has like a bead on the edge of it like a little rolled up area so when I first put it in here I thought okay that bead has to match with that bead from the top which is the floor pan which comes up and, and would kind of latch in place so fit that up and it looks just way off um, essentially the front of the tow board sits about even with that torque box uh, edge and so that's where I was trying to fit it and when you put it in there that way you get a very very so that's at the front edge and you see I ended up with a huge gap there and if you start tweaking the feeling to get the right line, see if you line those two edges up, I've got a huge gap there and I'm a little pissed off at this point because I figure I cut extra from from extra and I still didn't have enough. But I went I went to the underside of the car and if you can't really get a good look here this is essentially the tow board it is the tow board uh, essentially it runs and it stops right here so that jog it basically is a panel it, it's a jog down to get behind this panel it doesn't even get to here that's just a, a thing basically it's to show the stopping point so then I get it back in here Okay, so what they've done is they put the stopping point in there to make it look right uh, from the top side, but that edge, this front edge is, I don't know, three quarters of an inch too short. So if you do that, all this pretty much matches up there, there, over in the corner, and now you've got basically a basically three quarters to an inch there that it's further it's it's supposed to be up here at the edge of that torque box but it's it's back I think that's a big deal I'm trying to decide whether I want to build this edge up uh, with some spare sheet metal to make it look right from the bottom side you're never gonna see the top side so it doesn't matter from there but from the bottom if you looked up in here what you would end up seeing is This panel would end up stopping back here, and if you look in the transmission tunnel, this panel comes all the way to the front edge of there. So you'd be able to tell, I'm trying to decide whether I'm anal enough to go you know, and just weld a little sliver on the front just to make it look good from the bottom side. Um, so we're not in bad, as bad of a shape as I thought we were when I first started fitting it up. I thought I was in big time trouble. Um, still, I bent this kind of, tried to beat it into shape. So again, those match up pretty decently. I can decently deal with that. Still, as, the, as always, I end up with a freaking bigger gap than I wanted to over here. Again, I, I left extra and it's still not enough. So I'm gonna have to fill that. Um, So, decisions, decisions. That's where we are right now. I'll, I'll bring you back when I got more progress.
Here we are after a couple hours. Um, you can see I got the zip screws in. Four. Uh, where's the fourth one? There it is up there. One, two, three, four. Um, I had to go ahead and kind of weld a, a piece back on there to be able to have enough overlap to cover up that gap. I just had to go ahead and do that. And then what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna weld this flange. Because if you you can see I've got it's about five eighths short at each of those little tabs and then it's about eleven sixteenths um, short on that side. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little strip on the end there just to, to, to make it as close as possible. Um, I've got it scribed on the back side uh, for the final cut for where at least about up to the frame rail which is about there um, so I'll, I'll cut that side and then probably jump up about a sixteenth and then go the rest of the distance to uh, make sure I have enough meat on there um, but the, you can see the little dimensions match up pretty good they're not of course with these replacement panels they're not as sharp as the originals but they they made up pretty good um, the curvature is good now uh, everything looks much much better uh, so i'll bring you back when i've got some more progress for the day uh, it's getting tired and it's getting to be late and a little bit colder than i want it to be yeah cold in florida haha <laughs> it's dropped down into the 60s raining I think into the 50s actually. Um, anyway, so you can see I got the extension put on that side, which I think I talked about already. And then I'm in the process. I'm, I got a one inch basically metal band that I'm starting to put on here. And uh, in the process of, of stitch welding it on there. And um, then we'll grind it down. We'll be able to install it in the, in the, um, in the car. Um, I've got the measurements still there. They're still there. Five eighths, five eighths, five eighths, and then eleven sixteenths over there. So I'll, once I have this tacked in place, I'll measure off that distance and uh, trim it. Uh, probably with the body saw, um, and then we'll be ready to to start fitting the final. All right. We'll talk to you later. So I was able to. I had tack welded this in the strip to extend it and I was debating on whether to attach this thing or not when I finally realized that that is where the spot welds from the front floor pan. The front floor pan comes and sits over the top of it and then you spot weld from the top down along that lip so I had to put it in there so I went ahead and made this little strip out of some sheet metal that I had lying around and then weld it in place and then I'll go back and cut it um, to the right uh, width this way to match up with the, the, the torque box area there I'll, and I'll, I'll do that in a little bit um, so that's what we're going to do I've got, I've got it all welded in place and now uh, and back uh, welds actually are looking very good um, for me being a beginner it's coming out very well so I'm going to get ready to grind these down and, and smooth it out, um, and we will uh, bring them back.